There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from all worries and troubling sound When I go there to be by myself, only me Hi, friends. I don't know what I was waiting for. I think, you know, back, way back when, when we first started doing lives a few years ago, we always waited till people came on. But then we realized that it was better not to do that uh, because obviously you could scoop back to the beginning of it if you felt like you missed something. But um, <clears throat> anyway, hello. Happy Thursday, and it is indeed Thursday evening at almost 5 o'clock. Um, I have raindrops on my glasses because I just got home, and uh, this is a little early for a live on uh, Thursday evenings, but like I said, I'm going to come live every Thursday, and then I will download the live and upload it onto my YouTube channel so it can be seen there also. And um, yeah, so I am Denise. I am the owner of the business All Dressed Up Couture as well as the owner of the business Fairy Rose Cottage. And um, I, in All Dressed Up Couture, which is where we are right now on my business page, I make children's dress-up clothes, and uh, I design them and create them, and I do I do everything. I do have someone who helps me cut fabric, and she also um, <clears throat> helps me stay sane by cleaning up after me lots of times. So uh, yeah, um, uh, like I said, I make children's dress-up clothes, mostly tutu-based ones. Um, and I, I came on last week for the first time, live in a long time, and kind of told you about what was going on with life and how, <clears throat> you know, it, was, it, it has been kind of tough with things going on and family and friends and such. And, and um, you know, the, the hits keep coming. <laughs> and I'm going to try to stay sane during them. And uh, <clears throat> some stories are mine to tell. Some stories are not mine to tell. So I will just, you know, keep keep moving forward at this point. Because I've seen what happens when I don't move forward. And that was that I did not put enough time or energy into my business and or my life or um myself really uh my self care or anything so <clears throat> even though the hits keep coming i am going to keep moving forward and you know if that means some days i wake up and i feel like i'm at a standstill or i've moved back uh a few steps because of new news or anything like that then I'm just going to try to be kind and graceful to myself and take a deep breath and give myself a break and then move forward again. And honestly, I think probably for anyone who's listening, you have all either felt that way at some point or you are feeling that way right now. And, you know, they always say bad luck or bad things come in threes. Well, <clears throat> we've done three, six, nine, we're on 12 now, uh, <laughs> this year alone. And, um, and you know, I, I do have to remember a few things. One is I turned 60. And not that that's a magic number, but what it does say is, yeah, people in my life are getting older too. And yes, they're going to get sick, or they're going to have uh, injuries, or... Um, 
you know, some are going to die and that's, that's all very painful. But if I don't keep moving forward, then, you know, what do I do? I sit in my rocking chair, literally and figuratively, because I do have a rocking chair and it is the most comfortable chair in this entire house. And um, everybody agrees. Um, when my mom comes to visit, I can't get her out of the chair. When my grandson comes to visit, I have to boot him out of my chair so I can sit in it. Uh, lately, I've caught my husband sitting in it. And he has his recliner, you know, that's pretty new. It's like a year old. And um, so it is the most comfortable uh, seat in the house. So figuratively and literally, I might be... If I don't keep moving forward, I might be sitting in that rocking chair all the time. So anyway, it is Thursday and I did promise you that I was going to come live on Thursdays. Um, and if I couldn't make it live, that I would uh, post something saying when I would be on. Uh, and today I'm early because I have to go pick up a grocery pickup order. And I knew that by the time I picked it up and got it home and got, got everything taken care of, it would be kind of late because what I found last week was that time was great for a live, but when I went to upload it onto YouTube and then edit the video and put it up, it was, you know, pretty late that, that night. And so... I thought, well, I don't want to do that again. So I'm coming a little earlier. You can always watch the replay. If you are watching the replay or you're watching right now, comments below are um, wonderful. I love to hear from you. And, um, you know, comments are great. So then the other thing is, is I also said that I was going to be... Uh, creating a new design every week. Now, if you are part of my brand team or part of my loyal fans that have been around for a long time, you will have had some doubts with that statement. And I'm going to tell you, I had some doubts with that statement too, except I felt like if I put it out there, you know, maybe I could accomplish it. And when I couldn't, I could give myself some grace and say, I just didn't do it this week, or it isn't done, or it'll be done tomorrow, or whatever, but that I was putting myself out there with um, some accountability. And I, as part of, you know, life in general, I have not done any new designs. Uh, well, I have, but... Um, they were requested uh, custom order type things. So not new designs that I plan on keeping up in my shop all the time. So I, I had said last week that I would like to do a new design, one new design every week um, in the month of June and hopefully the month of July too. But we're going to start with June. And so do you think I did it? <laughs> I did! Yay! I get fireworks and um, I did. And was it a struggle? A little bit of a struggle. And I'm going to tell you what the struggle is because I'm all about being transparent this year. The struggle was getting started. Just simply getting started. So it wasn't designing it because I already had it designed. I had it uh, drawn on paper. I had a brand team model um, lined up to model it, what, almost two years ago now, um, a year, well, probably a little over a year ago. Um, I had everything I needed to make the design. I just had not done it. And it was truly this week since last Thursday, it was the just doing it that was the toughest 
And I mean, every day I, I went to bed at night thinking, okay, tomorrow's going to be the day I'm going to get that design done. I'm not going to disappoint my people. I'm not going to. And every day something else would come up or I'd do something else or I'd, oh, I don't really feel like getting everything out today or I don't want to make a mess in the studio or I don't, you know. And um, so it, it was a bit of a struggle just getting started. So yesterday I had it on my list and I said, you know what, if you don't do it today, it's not going to get done. And you're going to have to go on there and tell people, I didn't do it. Because you're going to hold yourself accountable regardless, right? So, um, so I did it. I did it yesterday. And you know, it didn't take that long either because I already had it in my head and everything. But I had um, a piece of it done already, not not completed in any stage of completion, but um, I did have a piece of it done. And so uh, that helped. And, and I just worked on it a little bit at a time. I um, put the two two together and put it on the uh, mannequin. And then I walked away from it because I had to go run some errands. And then I got home and I did the um, sleeves. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. And then I walked away from it because it was almost supper time and I needed to let the dogs out and feed them and stuff. And, and I don't tend to do that because when I make a, a design or when I design a design, I want to have the whole amount of time to just work on it straight and, and be focused. And I have learned in the last uh, six months that I don't have that kind of time sometimes. I And I don't have the brain width to use the time like that right now because there have been so many other things happening. So um, I gave myself some grace and took some breaks in between to get the other things done that I had already had planned. Um, and I, I did indeed get it done. Now here's the the problem. It is raining out again. It has been raining in the state of Maine since last Friday. And we are talking dark and windy and dreary and cold days with um, a peak of sunshine, I think, on one of those days. In fact, I had to run in town today and I wore my sunglasses because there was just a little glimpse of sunlight for about five minutes and then the skies opened up and it poured. So usually when I do a new design, I show it outside because the lighting is a lot better than in my house, but I cannot show it to you outside. So I'm, I'm, I am going to show it to you in my studio. No judgments, please. It is not uh, completed uh, cleaning up and the lighting isn't great, and it's hard to back up far enough for you to see the whole thing at once, I think. But before I even do that, I want to sort of see if I can um, see if you can guess who it is. So if you guess when I'm giving you these hints, go ahead and comment down below, even if this is the replay or you're watching it on YouTube. Um, and uh, let's see if you can get it. Okay, first of all, I think she's considered a villain. And this is a female. Because some of my tutu dresses are not females. But this is a female. I think she's considered a villain. Uh, the model that I made it for is a teenager. And I, I think that it tends to be um, in the teenage adult uh, kind of group that it would be most popular. Um, I'm trying to think if my grandson has, he knows who she is, but he's not really, you know, overly excited about her or anything. Um, I needed to use... It's upside down. 
I needed to use this on my costume. This was very hard to find. I really wanted it in a thinner, kind of a, a narrower, I guess, but a, a heavier um, material, but it was very hard to find. And I have a big roll of it. So bring on the costume orders for this one. But yes, it says caution. So if you've guessed, go ahead and write it down below. Comment. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and comment who you think it is. Um, I am hoping this will go out to one of my brand team models soon. Um, the one that it was originally for has just graduated from high school. That just blows my mind. And I'm hoping that she wants to do it, that she feels like she has time. But I do understand it's been over a year that she's waited for it. And it could just be that she doesn't have time now. But um, I'm hoping that she does. And, uh, okay, I'm going to give you one last hint, and this ought to give you who it is. She hangs out with a really creepy guy. He has a funny smile. Hmm. Maybe that will help. I don't know. Uh, I don't see any comments right now, but I also am not sure. There's been a couple of people off and on. So, you know, I, I do think that I'm going to have to do my lives pretty consistently for a while for people to find me again. So, um, like I said, comment on the replay or whatever and let me know who you think it is. And I'm going to show you, but you're going to get a little dizzy, I think, because one, I'm going to turn the camera um, up so that you can see it lengthwise and two I've got to move the camera also to do that and um, so let's see what I can do I'm going to get up you can see my lovely colored coordinated drawers and and this this is my um, sign it's backwards but it says boss lady but when my pal Georgia comes and cleans or um, picks up fabric or anything she says this is really hers she's the boss lady so we'll see uh, <laughs> we'll see I'm gonna move this this is my what I use to put my tool on and my ribbon when I'm unwinding it to cut it is simply a paper towel holder just in case you wanted to know and um, let's see I guess you still get to see me because I haven't turned the camera around yet all right, are you ready? Let's see, this is, rotate your phone, oh, poo. Okay, so I'm gonna have to back way up, but I can flip it. I don't know what you're gonna see when I flip it, but there you go. Um, okay, so here she is. There's the tutu. There's my mess behind me. I'm sorry I can't do it the lengthwise. I will post some pictures, although my pictures are not that great. But these are her sleeves. Um, and I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see that. Oh, it would be so much better if I could have done it lengthwise, guys. But see, there's her sleeves and her tutu. And it is two pieces, so the tutu is separate from the top. The top is just a simple top. It's got uh, ribbon straps on it, and in the back, it um, just ties and comes through the suspenders. And it's probably about knee length. I can't remember now. It might be a little shorter. And the suspenders are just hooked on to it, but you can unhook them. I am really sorry I can't turn this the other way. I will post a picture. 
<clears throat> and it's dark in here. Uh, anyone know who she is? If you guessed, I'm going to move this way and see if it's a little bit better lighting. If you guessed, Harley Quinn. Yeah, there you can see it's a pretty bright pink. And then the, the um, sleeves are made from the caution tape and several ribbons that are tied to the straps. So they're just the indication of a sleeve. If you guessed Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey, I always wanna say Birds of Paradise, then you are indeed correct. And so she wears a pair of black and white striped shorts. And of course this is uh, black and gray, I'm sorry, black and gray striped tutu, and then there's a piece of it that's just all gray on her shorts that has stars on it. This has stars on it. And then she wears orange suspenders and a purple top and has sleeves that are covered with ribbon and the caution tape. So that is her. And I'm going to um, back off from her again and turn it around. Whoops, turn it around. Sorry, that's not a great picture. Oh, there you can see mini, mini mice. So there she is. Um, Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey, the first new design of 2023. And probably 2022 also. Although if you look back in 2022, you will see that I had some new designs. But again, they were customer motivated designs. They were um, custom orders. So uh, this is exciting. This is one that I've wanted to do for quite some time. And like I said, I'm hoping to send it off to the model because I do not believe my uh, tutus on a mannequin um, do any justice to them. I think once they get on one of, uh, the children that I make them for, uh, they come alive and my models always make them come alive. So I'm excited. And next week I will be back with at least one new design. Although I am hoping for, um, a series of three that I've been, that I showed a while back too, but have uh, never got quite finished. There was a couple of things that needed to be done for them. So um, I'll be back next week and I will try to be a little more consistent about posting in the group. I mean, in the um, on the Facebook page this week in between. And um, I'm, but I'm not sure how that will go. I'm trying to do a little bit at a time and get back into it. I will say I have several orders that have come in in the last, uh, well, the last week, since last Thursday. And on both my website, which is alldressedupcouture.com, and my Etsy shop, which is All Dressed Up Couture. And um, it, that has surprised me because this usually tends to be kind of a slow time. I'm excited about that. My internet keeps going in and out. And then the other thing I just want to mention is I did tell you that I own another business called Fairy Rose Cottage. Right now, that business is on Etsy. And what it consists of right now is mostly PDFs, printable PDFs. And they are called Savings Challenges and Savings Trackers. And I wonder if I have one here that I can show you. That is, okay, so I actually I have a whole series of them that I created for my Disney trip. So this is my Cruella de Vil notebook. I'm going to stand up because I think that might be easier to see. So just in case you're interested in savings challenges, you can see all about them on my YouTube channel too. But these are printable downloads. This one, for instance, is to save for my plane ticket to Disney. 
Not all of my savings challenges are Disney related, but this book happens to be. Um, this is for transportation while I'm in Disney. And I have laminated these so that I can use them. And uh, here's hotel or resort. So you decide how much you need to save. Like for this one, I need to save $531 for the resort. And so each mask is $18. And when I have $18 to save, I put it in an envelope that I have marked for the for this and color in one of the masks. And when they're all colored in, I will have met my goal. So this notebook is full of um, Disney uh, vacation challenges that I have created. And they are all up in my shop. But like I said, I have ones that are not Disney related also. And yeah, so that's what it is. It's Fairy Rose Cottage on um, Etsy. And my, by the way, my YouTube, I forgot to link that last week, but my YouTube is Loving Life at AT. 60-ish. Loving life at 60-ish. So when you go to YouTube, you type in at, which is the at sign, loving life at 60-ish, no spaces or anything, and I should come up. So uh, yeah, um, definitely come visit me over there too. I do savings challenges. I do all dressed up couture stuff. I do scrapbooking and um, gardening. So I'd love to have you over there. And in the meantime, hi, April. Oh my goodness. It's so good to see you. You like that notebook? The, um, the notebook itself, the Cruella de Vil. On the side, it says, I do what I want. <laughs> it's a great one, and I had bought it for my designs because where she was a fashion designer, but I've ended up using it for my savings challenges. I love it too, and you know, I got it on um, the Disney shop site, shopdisney.com or whatever it is, the, the, the big Disney uh, shopping site. And uh, it was hidden in amongst things, but it, it, yeah, I love it. So it's so good to see you, April. I, I'm getting ready to go off here now, um, and I'm going to upload this to my YouTube channel also. But I did, I don't know if you saw it or not, but I did just show my new design and um, for this week. And I'll have another new design next week. And I'm also looking forward to the designer of a day, uh, designer for a day contest that will be coming up too. Yeah, April, if you type in binders, I think it might come up. So, all right, I will talk to you soon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Please comment down below and let me know that you were here. That would be uh, great for me. And um, I will talk to you all soon. And uh, the only person I see right now is April, though I do see that there are a few, a couple more people on. But um, I will say bye, April. It was good to see you. I hope you're doing all right. Bye bye. Sound. When I go there to be by myself, only need.